it is better to go an hour than to announce you're going an hour. So like Iron Man matches, you know, those don't necessarily do great ratings. They do in the last 15 minutes. Right, but people tune out. The first 45 yeah. minutes, people are like, oh, I can watch, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, this one here, I mean, if you look at the, the rating, it was almost a straight line throughout this entire match, just straight across. Nobody tuned out. They watched the entire match from start to finish. And then when the match was over, this show fell off a cliff. Thunder Rosa versus Rachel Ellering. There's an Irish whip and somebody reverses somebody and one person's running the ropes, the other person's running to the corner and nobody knows what the hell is going on. That was probably terrible. Anytime I have something bad to say about the women, I am going to keep my mouth shut because I don't want to be called a misogynist. There's a lot of feedback. Don't be a coward. Just tell it like it is. This match really, really sucked. (laughs) This Tommy Billington is so small. Yeah. You cannot convince me that he's bigger than I am. I'm positive I'm bigger than Tommy yeah. Billington. Takeshita's got him in like, you know, that thing where you stretch the arms out like this. And Billington is like powering his way out. <laughs> Just like, no, you can't do that. This is ridiculous. The Bang Bang Gang. And then I am not making any of these names up. <laughs> the first man was named Sean Moore. Cool. Second guy is named London Lightning. The fourth guy... Singular. Fourth guy. Michael Allen Richard Clark. I laughed. Not going to lie. They should have had a camera on me when I realized this man's name was Michael Allen Richard Clark. Sitting alone in my living room, my brain broke. I made a noise, something close to... I could not process this. He said, if Jay White is hurt, you cannot replace him with juice. The titles must be relinquished. We can't let you... Transfer somebody in, unless we strip you of the titles. Yeah. Then we put that person in, and you immediately fight for the titles in a title match. What in the name of absolute fuck was this? This was preposterous. I was so angry. There's a stacked trios division that has not been allowed to compete for these titles all goddamn year because the stupid fucking acclaimed versus uh, fucking bang bang gang feud that sucks so bad and it's gotten no better since that feud ended. What is the point of these titles? There's a division of geeks that just fight each other doing nothing and two cha- or three champions who do random stuff with other people. This division sucks, and it pisses me off because we wanted to EW to have trios titles for so goddamn long, mm. and as soon as they brought them in, it's been awful. Awful. These were not great shows, but you know, for, for three hours of just self-contained professional wrestling, I, I enjoyed them enough. Unnecessary censorship. He beat him, and he beat him, and he beat ah, him, and he beat him, <laughs> and he beat him, and he beat him, and he beat him, and he beat him. I'm sweating. Time to stop. And he beat him. Was this edited? And then he beat him, and he I beat don't think him. So. I actually wore that shirt. It just says he beat him, he beat him, he beat him all the way down. <laughs> like. All the way down, you say? Okay. I dropped her off at camp, and the camp counselor just looks at me. She goes, he beat him <laughs> and beat him. <laughs> I was like, gag gift. Brian, would you me again this week? It's too hot to do much. <laughs> That's true. It is too hot to do much. I guess I just better do it because it came up for me. I'll wait. It won't come up again. It's pretty short, so I'll just do it. Yeah. Now I gotta find it back. Okay. <laughs> it 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 didn't Damn, come I'm gonna up. kill you. How about you just read it? Okay. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> um. What else have we got, Vinny? <laughs> All right, Granny. What have what have you got this week? I think they have picked the wrong, wrong, wrong guy. To me, Cody is nothing. Now, why nothing. do you why do you say that, Granny? Because he's nothing compared to Roman. Big, tall guy, you know. But this guy, to me, is just absolutely a baby face and nothing. Wow. I well, you're half right. Like He's definitely a baby face. He shouldn't even be in there for that. Wow. Jiminy Christmas. You know, when he first came out and interrupted Andre, my first thought was, God damn, what an asshole. He right. is stealing the guy's spotlight. 
But he said, man, I'm more excited about this than Andre is, which was clear, by the way. You know, maybe he's just a soft-spoken giant that tries to collect his thoughts before the loud mouth jumps in front Nonsense. of him. Nonsense. And... You know, uh, On... Andre's just kind of looking at him, and then he just leaves in it, the middle of Hogan's uh, speech. Mid-sentence. But then Hogan turns around, and he turns on the happy face, and he goes, that's the biggest display of modesty ever. Let's hear it for Andre. And he's clapping. And meanwhile, Piper's like, shit went down, brother. <laughs> This angle is so great. It is better to go an hour than to announce you're going an hour. So like Iron Man matches, you know, those don't necessarily do great ratings. They do in the last 15 minutes. Right, but people tune out. The first 45 yeah. minutes, people are like, oh, I can watch, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, this one here, I mean, if you look at the, the rating, it was almost a straight line throughout this entire match, just straight across. Nobody tuned out. They watched the entire match from start to finish. And then when the match was over, this show fell off a cliff. These guys had, like, absolutely A-plus perfect chemistry together. You would think they had wrestled 500 times previously. But no, this is the first time in the ring. And it was magic. It was just magic. The best thing in the entire match was when MJF Vegas to talk about how smart he is, and we get the greatest camera shot ever of Osprey doing a hidden blade through the ropes to take his head off and kill him. So Will calls for the Tiger Driver, and Will is conflicted with some very wacky facials. Thank God he was finally conflicted for real. Yeah. And then in the last 30 seconds, they squeezed in a ref bump, Max slipping on the diamond ring, Max hitting a punch, Max making a cover, and the ref counting three. MJF wins. You know, if you watch MGF matches, he'll start slow sometimes. So he started kind of slow for a couple minutes here. But from that point forward, they worked a fast-paced 60-minute yep. match. And, you know, at the end, they're like, you know, they're going. I mean, the last five minutes of this match, they're going. Last 15 minutes, they're going. And then when it's over, they put an oxygen mask on MGF. I was like, you don't need oxygen. I watched that match. MJF is the champion. Mm -hmm. And presumably we're getting that rematch at Wembley. So that Osprey can win his title back. This was as great a TV match as you will ever see on any wrestling show as long as you ever live. The Elite to do a promo. Suddenly Mercedes Monet interrupts. And she does her cool CEO dance. And Okada begins to sweat and stammer. Yes, he did. He's shy and awkward all of a sudden. I hope his wife wasn't watching. <laughs> she moved to this country for him. <laughs> that, is, that is a sacrifice. Tony Storm's music hits. And now comes Mariah May disguised as Tony Storm. And she gets to the ring and just standing there and not saying anything. And Tony Schiavone says, and I quote, Well, speak, bitch! Come on now! And the other announcers are horrified. They the were fall. fucking horrified. I could have had a dream of this match, and it would have been exactly this. Swerve trying his best. Okada working at 10%. Nothing happening match. Yeah. Bucks run in for the disqualification so nobody has to lose. I described it as a big double nothing cheeseburger with a hot order of extra nothing on the side. Wow. Yeah. Taking out that it's blood and guts, just the build for it. I mean, is anyone super excited for this? We got the acclaimed in there and hope Darby doesn't kill himself. Okada going at 10%. But uh, I'm not really feeling the build for this. It, it very much feels like the thing WWE has done was, well, well it's this time of year. It is time to do X stipulation match. Let's book one. I am not a big fan of the uh, the way they've set up Brian Danielson and Swerve and that match at Wembley. I mean, they should never have brought back Hangman. Hangman should have just Hangman should have come back at the end of Wembley, and you know Brian Danielson beats Swerve or whatever. Hangman screws Swerve, whatever, and then you do Hangman and Swerve it all out. I mean, there's a million things you could do, but I'm I'm not feeling this one really at all. Vic is trying so hard to make this Rascals reunion a big deal. The first time these three men have been together in a wrestling ring in four years. And Booker says, quote, Rascals, huh? Right. Not impressed. The Rascals... Wes Lee was smiling. Wes Lee is so much fun when he has his friends with him. He's no longer depressed. This is probably my favorite Wes Lee match since Zach got fired in the first place. Can we just, wherever they go, just attach Wes to them? I don't care what promotion it is or what company it is. Just keep them as a unit. Because Wes, as singles, is no buys. Javon Evans jumps from the floor to the bottom rope to mm -hmm. do a moonsault. Yeah. Vic just says, nice moonsault. <laughs> nice it, moonsault! That was a very, 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 very high jump. He went to the fucking stars! Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Duke Hudson's 
finishing move is the childhood dream. What the hell is that? Well, it's funny you should ask, Brian, because they put a, they thought everyone else would ask that same question. So then in parentheses, they put stratosphere. Oh, wow. I am assuming that's the handstand hair around the Well, it is, but that's he's never finished anybody with it. No. <laughs> Dude, this Oba Femi's got like 50 matches. He can have a great match with a little guy like Wes Lee, and he can have a great match with a big guy like Duke Hudson. He can do any style. And he's still got a ways to go and everything like that, but he's improved so much. Like, he, she should finish high in most improved of, of yeah. 2024. Yeah. I mean, he's he's like he's one of those guys on this show, like a Fallon Henley, and, you know, they're, they're can't miss on the main roster. Can't miss. You cannot miss with Obafemi. <laughs> 